I have troubling news from Grizzleheim. It seems as if the cold day we feared has come to pass. Your old friend in Grizzleheim, Bjorn Ironclaws, sends word that the ravens of the coven have struck once again. Bjorn sent word to ask you to venture to Northgard in Grizzleheim and speak to him at once. Uh, your instructors are aware you may miss some class time. Uh, there may be make-up work when this matter is complete. Exciting news! Oh, exciting! Bail Headmaster Ambrose hands you a spiral. Here, exciting news! Oh, exciting news indeed! Professor Bailstrom's efforts to enter the door to Celestia have met with success. Bailstrom has repaired Celestia's spiral key. Now we can go to that strange, star-lost world and learn of its fate. Here you go. <laughs> For obvious reasons, you have more than earned this. Headmaster Ambrose hands you a spiral key carved with astronomic symbols. Oh, yes. There's a distress call from the Spiral Geographic Society trapped on Celestia. Do see if you can help them out. Have you been to speak with Bjorn Ironclaws of Northgard in Grizzleheim? You must go there at once. Have you gone through the spiral door to Celestia? The magic of the stars awaits you. And those poor explorers may be in peril. there, Outlander. Forgive me. My gladness at seeing you is outmatched by my dread of the curse upon Grizzleheim. Your presence humbles me. I am only the second greatest hero in Grizzleheim when you visit my world. Times are grim. Though you defeated them before, the evil members of the Coven have struck again. We fear that this is the final act of their terrible plan to curse the spiral with the dreaded Everwinter. King Valgard Goldenblade has need of your spells. Enter his hall and speak with him if you are a true hero. You should go and speak with our king, Valgard Goldenblade. He awaits you in his hall. I am pleased you heard my call. As Bjorn Ironclaws told you, the evil ravens of the coven are trying to bring the Everwinter upon Grizzleheim. 
Once this dreadful cold comes, it will wreath our world in ice, and the freeze will spread throughout the spiral. Though the coven met their defeat at your hands, they crept from their hidey holes and struck again. There is much to tell you, but still more that I do not know. Your old friend, Raffin Lorespeaker in Ravenscar, wishes to speak with you. He knows more about this grim threat. You must go to Ravenscar and speak to Raffin Lorespeaker. He will tell you of our grim tidings. Grundlefjord is old, and rune-carved stones already dotted the land when we first built our halls there. Those rune stones convey much lore and wisdom that even the wisest have forgotten. If you truly plan to voyage to Hrundlefjord, I set upon you a task to read all the rune stones you find. Return to me when you know the secrets written in the stones of Hrundlefjord and the lands of Wintertusk. Seeker of knowledge, you must read all the rune stones in Hrundlefjord and thereabouts, then return to teach me. Would that I had better news for you, wizard. The coven has returned after the same goal, the Everwinter. You have heard of the titans of storm, fire, and ice, yes? They were the first beings before the spiral was made. The ice titan sleeps deep beneath Grizzleheim, sent into a centuries-long slumber by Bartleby himself. The coven would rouse the Ice Titan from that eternal rest. When he rises, his fury will be cold and fierce. The runes tell me that the coven is at work in Hrundlefjord, a port in a part of Grizzleheim called Wintertusk. You must use your wits, your spells, and your courage to defeat the coven once more. Only you can do this deed. Go and speak to Valgard Goldenblade once more, and tell him that Hrundle Fjord is where you must go. I can see from your grim demeanor that Raffin has told you much. So Raffin Lorespeaker tells you that the coven is up to their evil in Rundlefjord. This angers and frightens me. I have not heard from my subjects in Rundlefjord in some time, and I worry that they have met with trouble. Balder Goldpaws is at the dock of Northgard. He can take you to the part of Wintertusk called Rundlefjord. Go now and speak to Balder, and go to Rundlefjord, with the king's favor at your side like a trusted sword. Have you spoken with Balder Goldpaws yet? He is at the docks near his ship. Fjord, there's something you can do for old Zeke. It's a quiet little place, but it's getting cold. Too cold for little critters to survive. I hear tell of a pack of trogs in Grundlefjord. They're wild things that need me to look in on them. Could you check up on them? No need to rile them up. Just see how they're doing. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Hey gang, thanks for checking out my music, and I hope you enjoy the new Winter Tusk area of Wizard 101. See you in the game. Hello there, young wizard. How can I help you? You wish to journey to Rundle Fjord? It is a simple task. Step over to my ship and we will set sail. Here it is! Rundle Fjord, part of Winter Tusk. If you wish to return to Northgard, or return here from Northgard, my ship is at your service. Long has it been since I visited Hrundlefjord. It's clear that something is terribly wrong. There is an unseasonable chill in the air, and I have never seen a ship with such ice upon it. Stride over to that nearby ship, if you will, and see what ails it and the crew who stand beside it. Could you examine yonder ship and the crew and return to me with news of your discovery? To examine the long ship. This ice is not natural. It was frozen in place here at the dock. These warriors were frozen in their tracks. Powerful ice magic is at work here. There are others who could have done this, but I'll wager that the coven is behind this dread chill. Ill doing at the docks can only be a sign that further mischief is afoot. You should go and examine the gates to Harundel Fjord and see if they were able to withstand this wretched cold. Go and scout only. Do not open the gates or enter the village just yet. There may be trouble within. As a captain, I cannot abandon my longship, so I will wait here for your return. I will wait here while you see what can be seen at the gates of Harundel Fjord. Hurry now! The gates are closed and appear to be locked. Like the cold, silence radiates from within the village. The gates are locked, eh? That is a sure sign of trouble. In kinder times, the village guards would have seen the sails of my ship and opened the gate to greet us. I suspect that the village of Rundlefjord is in the icy clutches of evildoers. There must be a way through the gates, perhaps a secret signal to alert those inside. Those frost bones outside the gate may know more about getting inside. You should defeat a few frost bones and see how they signal to one another. Go and defeat some frost bones and see how they signal.
As you defeat this Frostbones, it signals its allies by banging its sword on its shield. More of them bang their shields in reply. It is a code of some sort. They bang their swords upon their shields instead of speaking? This is an ancient means of signaling. Warriors of old call it Norse code. It is clear that the town has fallen to evil. Go and use Norse code to signal your way past the gate. The Thane of Harundel Fjord is named Vanir Stormwind. If he lives, he will be in the village's hall. Seek him out and return to me once you know his fate. You must use Norse code to bypass the gate. Seek out Vanir Stormroarer in the village hall and return to me. tap on the gate a few times, and something that sounds like Norse code. A moment later, it opens. Vanir is frozen solid. You should tell Balder the bad news. ill news. Vanir alone could tell us what happened to Rundle Fjord. We must devise a way to thaw Vanir's storm roar without harming him. This is raven magic. We need a raven. If I remember rightly, an old crone named Morn Shadowbrew dwells within Rundle Fjord. Though she was wicked and unkind, she may be able to help us if she has not been turned to ice. Go and seek her out and see if she can be convinced to help us in this cold hour. Go to Morn Shadowbrook and see if she will help us free Vanya from the ice. in their wintry doom.
help you! What is it you want? Thawing the Thane Vanir? He knows nothing, but if you must speak to him, here is how to thaw him. Go to the geysers at the edge of the village and collect some scalding water. Here's an urn you can use. Just pour it over Vanir. He should thaw in a matter of moments. It is magic ice. Only geyser water will serve. Collect the steaming geyser water in the urn Morn gave you. You're careful not to burn yourself. the steaming geyser water upon the frozen thane. In a moment or so, he is free from the ice. What has happened? I was in my hall, ready to fight the coven, when I became quite cold. I remember no more. Now I am soaked and steaming. My state lacks dignity, but I am grateful to you for my freedom. I don't recognize you, but you're clearly a wizard of some sort. You freed me, so I will trust you. The one you must speak to is Grandmother Raven. She is an old one, older than even the Spiral. It is said she gave the eyes of time to the great tree at the heart of the Spiral. But that was long, long ago. She is a loyal ally of my people. I bid you, check on her, see how she fares. I fear that the coven has done her ill. Grandmother Raven is often near the giant tree behind this hall. Go and seek her out. Have you found Grandmother Raven yet? Greetings, young wizard. At long last we meet. I have long watched you as you made your way through the spiral. Perhaps you have felt my presence before. I celebrated your victories, and I hope that my counsel reached you in your journeys. You find me at a disadvantage, though the ravens are all my children of a sort. Some of them are quite wicked. The ravens of the coven are especially untrustworthy. They caught me unawares and trapped me in this cage. If you would help an old grandmother, talk to the three wise sisters called the Norns at the nearby well. They can see into the past, across the world as it is, and they know what is to come. They can help you set me free. The three Norns will tell what you must do to set me free. They are at the nearby well. I am Erd, the one who knows all that has happened to you before this day. I am Verdandi, and there is nothing in the spiral that is hidden from my sight. I'm scald, and I knew you were coming. We Norns tend the loom of fate, 
Each living being is but a thread for us to weave into the tapestry of life. As an outlander, you are free from fate. You are not of Grizzleheim, so your destiny is not part of this tapestry. You alone can change the course of events and thwart the frightful fate that is to come. To free Grandmother Raven, you must do the impossible. First, fetch for us the feather of a white raven. Skogel the Pale is such a raven, with feathers the color of the moon, rather than the night dark sky. Go to Skogel's hut in Rundlefjord and beg from her a single white feather. A feather from Skogel the Pale you must bring us. Step lively, your soul is lost. If you're from the coven, leave me alone. If you've come to free me, then welcome. The door is frozen shut. If you want to be of help, fetch a kettle from the market and fill it with snow. Melt the snow in the fire pit in the market, and then bring the hot water back to pour over the ice on my door. Get a cooking pot and quickly fill it with snow. The snow melts and boils quickly. We pour the boiling water over the ice, it melts away. You're not from around here, are you? You have my gratitude for getting rid of the ice, but I'm still plenty mad at what's been done. If you'll go and teach a handful of those ravens a lesson, any of them will do. I'll be willing to listen. So, what are you waiting for? Get out there and thrash some of the ravens that ruined this nice village.
help you now that the ravens have paid for the trouble they brought to Hrondelfjord. What can I do for you? A feather? An odd request, but if it's for a good cause... Wincing, Skogel pulls out a stray feather and hands it to you. Use that in a spell against me and you'll wish you hadn't. This feather will serve its purpose, but it's only a start. We do not send you on idle errands. The things we need are for a mighty spell to change the fate of a world. The next impossible thing we need is a claw from a bear with no name. In this world, that is no small thing. Baneer Storm Roarer keeps a census of all who dwell here. He knows everyone and may know if there is one with no name. Vanir is in his hall, and he will help you find this nameless bear. When you have that bear's claw, you can return. Vanir Stormroar will know if there is a nameless bear around here. Find that bear and get a claw, then return to us. seek a bear without a name. How odd. Why would any bear not want to have a name to echo in glory? I keep a census of all those who live in this village. Read it and see if it helps. Excuse me, young wizard. Please look me up. You seek a bear without a name. How odd. Why would any bear not want to have a name to echo in glory? I keep a census of all those who live in this village. Read it and see if it helps. You examine the census. The list of names doesn't include Leaf, who is standing outside of town. Is it safe to go back into town? What? No name? How could they take Leaf off their senses? I'll have to speak to Vanir about that. What's that? You'd like a claw? How odd. I was just sharpening my claws and the tip of one of them broke off. It must be fate at work. In that case, you should have it. bear with no name. You are clever to win such a prize. Clever indeed. A feather from a white raven and a claw from a bear with no name. Two of the three items we need are in hand. The third item is perhaps the most difficult to obtain. A tooth from a wolf who has never known battle. Fate smiles upon you. At the edge of this village is an herbalist called Regan Wildleaf. He may be of help. A tooth. Regan's home is on a tooth from the one called Regan Wildleaf will complete the three impossible things we require. Regan's home is on the other side of Rundle Fuel.
You aren't from here. Did you come with the coven, or are you here as a friend to the folk of Hrundlefjord? We can use allies in this grave time. I am an herbalist, and I do what I can to heal the sick. A tooth? What a strange request. And an odd coincidence, one I cannot ignore. When the ice first came, I bit a piece of it and broke a tooth. I'll readily give it to you, but can you help me? I have an ache from the missing tooth, and the herbs I need for the remedy are outside of town. I'll need a sprig each of valerian and of amaranth. They grow around the village and outside the front gates. I'll also need a branch of moonwort, which the coven night wings may have taken. Gather those three herbs, bring them to me, and I'll look around and see if I can find that broken tooth.
in your boots, I would not enter that village. A curse has fallen upon it. A cold that consumes. You're quite the gatherer. Those herbs will help ease the pain of this broken tooth. And here, this is for you. Regan hands you a jagged piece of broken tooth. That must have hurt coming out. We have the 
three that cannot be. Now is the time to weave our greatest magic. Tooth, claw, and feather. These are symbols of our people, yet each comes from a source that cannot be. You must bind them with the thread of your life and weave them into the tapestry that is Grizzleheim's fate. Take feather, claw, and tooth to the loom of fate. Tie them to your thread, you will know it, and return to us. Take the tooth, the claw, and the feather to the loom of fate and tie them to the thread of your destiny. One of the threads looks a little different from the others. You get a sense that it represents you. You tie the feather, claw, and tooth to the thread. Strangely, Grizzleheim feels a little more like home to you. You can now dispel the magic that binds Grandmother Raven within her cage. It should open to your touch. Take the tooth, the claw, and the feather to the loom of fate and tie them to the thread of your destiny. It has been centuries since I wore this shape. Oh, to stretch these wings once more. There is still much to do. Elsie Everwinter takes us all in its cold, clawed grasp. When the Ice Titan fought with his brothers, the Titans of Fire and Storm, the world was threatened with ruin. Bartleby sung the song that put them to sleep and bound together the shattered world and spun it into the spiral. Four sons there are of the Ice Titan, four giants of frost. Ostri, Vestri, Sudri, and Nordri are their names. Each frost giant rules a land near Rundlefjord, and they have never been friendly to bear, wolf, or raven. But the one they liked least was their father, the Ice Titan himself. While the father slumbers, the sons run wild. The four ice giants each have a means to bind their father to sleep. Four golden seals, one to each. I lay this task upon you, to fetch back the golden seals. The gate to Ostri's land will now open to you. Go through the gate and speak to Ostri. Bargain for the seal, then return with it. There is no other way. We must go through the gate to Austriland and find Austri. Bargain for the golden seal and return with it. 